19th D-Day. I'm Emma Berry. And I'm Connor Buckley. And this is Kennedy Live. <laughs> and now for some news. <laughs> you can start. In a breaking news update, according to CNN, French investigators have determined that Abdelhamid Aboud, the suspected ringleader of the Paris terrorist attacks, was killed in a major police operation in a suburb of the... Of the city. Of the city. ISIS, meanwhile, is continuing to fuel alarm and outrage around the globe, announcing the killings of hostages from China and Norway, and claiming it plans to attack New York City. So, let's hope that doesn't happen. In other news, business jet operator FlexJet has placed an order for 20 of the $120 million aircrafts designed to carry 8 to 12 passengers at a top speed of 1,217 miles per hour. Its makers say it will be able to carry up to 12 passengers from New York to London in 4 hours and 24 minutes. That is a fast plane. <laughs> Subatomic flights on that route currently take about 7 hours. If it gets clearance to fly across country, it could also link the Big Apple with Los Angeles in a couple of hours. It's not due on the market anytime soon, though. Initial test flights are expected in 2021, followed by delivery to FlexJet in 2023. So at least that's something to look forward to. And now for This Day in History with Kelsey. Hi guys, it's Kelsey with This Day in History. On November 19, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln delivers one of the most memorable speeches in American history, the Gettysburg Address. And in 1985, for the first time in eight years, the leaders of the Soviet Union and the United States hold a summit meeting, do, summit conference during the Cold War. And in 2013, the word selfie was added to the Oxford Dictionary. Well, that's all for this day in history. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Kelsey. Now we have some sports. Today at 2.45 in the library, Alex Volpe will be signing with Holy Cross to play baseball, so congratulations to him. There will be a meeting of all girls interested in joining the swim team. The meeting will take place in the library on Friday, November 20th, during homeroom, immediately following Kennedy Live. The Brooklyn Nets lost to the Charlotte Hornets 116-111. to Tonight, the Cleveland Cavaliers play the Milwaukee Bucks at 8 o'clock. And the Golden State Warriors play the LA Clippers at 10.30 tonight as well. Now for some announcements. Debate Club had a great turnout yesterday. We encourage all to come to the next debate after the Thanksgiving break on December 2nd. The topic will be announced. There will be a blood drive December 15th from 2.30 to 8.30. Sign up will begin at lunchtime uh, after Thanksgiving, so come out and support that as well, guys. There is currently a Christmas toy drive taking place to benefit the children of Maria Ferrari and Blythe Dale Children's Hospitals. Blue flyers are posted around the school listing suggested toys. The science department is giving extra credit to any student who brings in toys. The end collection date is December 14th, and we hope to beat our last year's collection number of 700 toys. Any questions, please see seniors Jennifer Goldfarb, Christina Rowland, or Rebecca O'Callaghan. Well, I'm Connor Buckley. And I'm Emma Berry. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.